What is up, YouTube? Spider Grandpa coming at you with a little something different tonight. Um, so as some of you might have known, um, I did a little bit of cartooning back in back in my day, and I wanted to find my sketchbook, and I could never find it. And it was always uh, I always thought it was somewhere in my attic. Well, I had the day off today, and my, I crawled my fat ass in the attic and spent about a half hour in there um, looking for it. Well, I did find it. Um, I found a couple other things too. I want to show you guys. First is these uh, military patches I collected while serving aboard the USS Enterprise. Um, they're pretty f badass, and I'm glad I found them because I, I, I like to show you guys. Um, um, this first one is a patch I got. Um, from Operation Desert Fox, and looks like this Enterprise Battle Group, pretty cool. And this is VAQ 132, the Scorpions and Air Wing Squadron. Um, that was stationed aboard the USS Enterprise. This one is a BQ-5 Delta Charlie, um, another air wing patch. Awesome, awesome stuff. Here's just a, a normal um, USS Enterprise patch. I think these even went on the hats like this. So that's the ship I was on. BQ-6. Uh, Another badass air wing squadron. Another USS Enterprise patch. CVW 17. This is a patch from our uh, Persian Gulf excursion um, in 98 and 99. Operation Southern Watch. Again, something else I was, we were took part in. Another um, badass desert fox uh, patch, and uh, I've been through the Suez Canal one two, four times, and um, I got this patch. So, yeah, I just wanted to show those off. They're pretty cool. Thinking about get putting them, uh, getting a frame for them, and putting them in the man cave. Another thing I found up in the attic while looking for my sketchbook was something pretty awesome. I haven't even opened this yet. Um, I've been waiting to make this video. This is a, a big ass art portfolio that's tore the fuck up. And I believe what's in here is some of my daughter's artwork and um, some of my artwork from school. So I'm going to pull out all these pieces and show you guys. It might be a little longer video. So I don't even know what's in here. So pulling this stuff out. What is this? This is... Oh, wow. Um, this is my daughter's artwork right here. Not too sure what it is. Looks like almost like a board game. But there's um, other stuff inside here. Oh, look at this. Thumper. She uh, drew that. Not too sure what that is. It's like some type of trees or something. Pumpkins and gourds and the creation of the sun and moon. Looks like she colored that. Yeah, this stuff stinks. Stinks like an attic. Yeah, there's just a bunch of pictures she colored. I'm not gonna go through them all here. Just like show you the cool ones. Here's some bottles she drew. She took a lot of art classes when she was younger. Oh, look at Mona Lisa here. Some more shading bottles. 
Yeah, a bunch of cool memories here. I remember, you know, her growing up and be, being Father's Day or whatever. Um, her drawing uh, birthday cards for me or Father's Day cards or what have you. I always love those. I still got those in in the master bedroom in my in the console or in the end cabinet. All right, what else is in here? Oh my God, comic book fans, you guys are gonna love this. This was shit. I don't know what you. Oh, 1991. This is from 1991. It looks like I drew um, all the uh, Marvel comic logos. And this, check this shit out. Can't believe I still have this. Deathlock, Ghost Rider, X Men, Punisher. That's crazy. That's when the Infinity Gauntlet came out, I guess. That's crazy. See, I was a Marvel fan back in the day. Moving right along, let's see what it says on back here. I guess it was a final project for something. It says final on the back. Oh, uh, you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna shit. This is, this is freaking amazing. It's got a little damage to it, but I drew this. This, wow. It's got Zealot, Spawn, Pit, Supreme, and Shadowhawk. Image Comics. There's no year on it, but this is one of my, from, I took a lot of art classes. That's craziness. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Alright, moving right along, what are we going to pull out next? I remember this. This is uh, one of my art classes I had to draw. Another one of my students, they had to sit in a chair or whatever. And this is what it came out with. I don't know what year this is from, but I don't know why I still have this stuff. But that's nothing. This is another piece of art I did. Crazy art. Got my old address on there. Pretty cool. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is wow, the chalk is still coming off. For Halloween. For Halloween one year we had to do part of a skeleton. Leave it to grandpa to wanna do the crotch. All done in chalk. Neon neon chalk. Next, now just a another chalk of bottles and cans and crap. Remember, I don't know if you had, any of y'all took art classes, but they used to do have us do all that crazy shit. This is fun, man. This is great stuff. Now here's another one. It's crazy stuff. What is this? Oh wow. This is actually it's a magazine cover of from Spin magazine. I don't know how it got in there, but it's of Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails. That's crazy. Guess I could throw that away, huh? Don't need that no more. Another, I don't know, Tropicana. So, I 
I did this when I was a senior in high school. We're gonna check this out. Okay, let's see. I wonder if I call that number if uh, someone will answer. That's funny. This is bringing back some crazy ass memories. I guess this is an unfinished piece I had. Um, it was a Kurt Cobain suicide magazine I was trying to do. I believe. Oh. What is this? Alright. There's a piece missing to this. Let me see if it's in here. Yes, there is. Um, big fan of Jim Lee. And I actually took Julie's. I made this. This piece is loose, but it was cool of my teachers in high school to let us do all these comic related things. Of course, Image Comics was big back in, uh, you know, this day. So you see, that's why you see a lot of Image stuff. But yeah, I drew, uh, I drew that. And I, th I remember photocopying the comic book and uh, making that background. So, yep, Grandpa had skills back in the day. Check it out. As I explained in um, oh, another contest entry video I did, I could look at something like I, I could look at the Savage Dragon and draw him exactly, but. If you gave me a blank sheet of paper and um, told me to draw the Savage Dragon, I couldn't I couldn't do it. I'd, but if I look at a comic book, I can draw almost almost on point. So as you can see here, this, none of this was traced. And that is it, guys. That is all in the hidden portfolio. Some cool stuff. Really brought back some memories there. I might ha I might have to hang that get that Wildcats one all fixed up again and you know hang it up. But just wanted to share that with you. I got something else to record for you guys, and this this stuff will be even better. So uh, stand by, be kind to one another, and here I go.